JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for July the 7th. I am Harlambos Pissoros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFT and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered, uh, considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the dollar traded lower against all the other G10 currencies on Friday, Monday and during the Asian morning Tuesday. It lost the most ground versus NOC, SEC, the Euro and the Aussie in that order, while it underperformed the least versus the Canadian dollar, the Japanese yen, the pound and the Swiss franc. The slide in the dollar and the relative weakness of the safe havens, yen and franc suggests that risk appetite continued being supported. Indeed, shifting our attention to the equity world, we see that a major EU and US indices were a sea of green yesterday, gaining 1.5% or more, and following a 5.71% surge in China Shanghai Composite. This was the biggest one-day gain in half a decade and came after a state-owned publication said that it is a good time to buy stocks. Appetite is during the Asian session today. Although the Shanghai Composite gained another 1.24% at uh, by the ta by now Japan's Nikkei 225 and Hong Kong's Hang Seng are down 0.62 and 0.72% uh, respectively. A stronger than expected rebound in Eurozone's retail sales for May and the surge above 50 in the US ISM non-manufacturing PMI for June may have also added to hopes of a faster than previously thought economic recovery from the slump uh, caused by the coronavirus spreading. Specifically, Eurozone's uh, retail sales jumped 17.8% month over month after tumbling 12.1% in April, beating the 15% forecast while the ASM index surged to 57.1 from 45.4 at a time when the forecast was for a rise to 50. Despite uh, the slowdown in infected cases from the coronavirus over the weekend, the daily numbers remain at, ele at elevated levels with several US states reporting a record increase. For example, Florida surpassed the highest daily number reported by any European country. The fact that investors remain optimistic suggests uh, that as long as most nations around the globe continue to ease uh, their uh, lockdown measures, they may continue to overlook uh, the surge in uh, US cases. Or they may be ignoring the increase in cases due to the fact that fatality rates are still low, which may be an indication of a better prepared healthcare system and perhaps of uh, the ability to carry out more tests. Remember that we've been constantly highlighting the battle between those who believe that uh, the global economy will recover faster than previously estimated and those who are afraid of a second wave of, of infections around the globe. With equities and risk-linked assets resuming their recovery, it seems that the first group has now the upper hand. Until we get clear signs that this is not the case, we would expect the risk appetite to continue improving. In our view, for that to change, a new round of lockdown measures around the globe will have to be introduced. That said, uh, we see the chances of that happening as very low and the reason is because following the damages from the first round of restrictions, the global economy may not be able to weather another couple of months of freezing activity. Apart from headlines and developments surrounding the coronavirus overnight, we also had an RBA monetary policy decision. The bank decided to keep the targets for its uh, cash rate and the yield on uh, three-year government bonds unchanged at 0.25%, adding that they remain prepared to scale up bond purchases again if uh, deemed necessary. Officials noted that the worst of the global economic contraction may have now passed, but still the outlook remains uncertain 
and the recovery is expected to be bumpy and dependent on uh, and dependent upon containment of uh, the coronavirus. The OZ barely reacted to the event as it was more or less a uh, reiteration of the June meeting's uh, language. With the bank not appearing worried over the strengthening of the Aussie, we expect the currency to continue being driven by headlines and developments surrounding the broader market sentiment. As a risk-linked currency, it may continue to benefit as long as investors remain optimistic, especially against uh, the safe havens like the dollar, the yen and the franc, which tend to come under selling interest during periods of market euphoria. Now, as for the rest of uh, today's events, Germany's industrial production for May, the US jolts uh, job openings for the same month, and Canada's IV PMI for June are coming out. The German industrial production is expected to have rebounded 10% after tumbling 17.9%, while the US jolts uh, job openings are expected to have declined to 4.85 million from 5.046 uh, million. No forecast is available for Canada's IV PMI. Now, with regards to the energy market, we get the American Petroleum Institute weekly report on crude oil inventories, but, but uh, as it is always the case, no forecast is available. As for the speakers, we have uh, four on today's agenda, Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic, Re Richmond Fed President Thomas Barkin, San, Fra San, Fra San Francisco Fed President uh, Mari Daly, and Fed Board Governor Randall uh, Quartz. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT time. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.